Just like adding or subtracting fractions, when you add and subtract rational expressions, you need to get a common denominator. So in order to see my denominators, see what the common factors are, I'm going to factor this one out. So if I factor out a 3, it's going to turn into x squared plus 7x plus 10. So that one's going to factor into x plus 2 times x plus 5. So first I took out a greatest common factor of 3, and then I factored out the remaining trinomial. Plus 4x times, and now I'm going to factor out the denominator, so it's 3 times x plus 5. So if you look right here, you have your denominator is going to be 3x plus 2x plus 5, and over here is 3x plus 5. So I need an x plus 2 right here, so I'm going to multiply the top by x plus 2 and the bottom by x plus 2. So you have to make sure you multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same thing, because then you're not changing the value of the fraction. You're multiplying it technically by 1. So now that I have a common denominator, I can add my numerator up, so it's going to be 4x squared plus 8x plus 1 over 3 times x plus 2 times x plus 5. And then you want to see if you could actually factor out, after you add, you want to see if you can factor this out further. So if I factor out, or can't simplify it further, if I factor out something out of here, I have to do factors of 4 that add up to 8, and there is not any, so this can't factor out any further. And then number two, first step I'm going to do is I'm going to factor out my denominator. So this turns into x minus 3, x plus 1, minus 3 times 4, times x plus 1. So here, if my denominator of x minus 3 and x plus 1 and 4 times x plus 1, I need to multiply a 4 on the top and the bottom over here. And then over here, I need to multiply an x minus 3 to the numerator and denominator. So the left-hand side fraction becomes 8x over 4x minus 3x plus 1. And the right-hand side becomes 4x plus 1x minus 3. And this part is 3x minus 9. So when you combine these, what you have to be very careful of is you're subtracting, so both of these need to get the opposite sign. So this is going to turn into 8x minus 3x plus 9. So don't forget to take this opposite to the second term as well, which turns into 5x plus 9 over, and my denominator stays the same. 4 times x minus 3 times x plus 1. So you need to factor in order to find the common denominator. So for this one, I can factor out a 3. So it's 3x squared plus 12x plus 35 minus... 3x times 6 times x plus 5. This can factor out further, so it's going to be negative 2 times 3. Factors of 35 that add up to 12 are 5 and 7. Minus 3x times 6 times x plus 5. So now I need to get a common denominator right here. I have a 3, an x plus 5, and an x plus 7. And I have a 6 and an x plus 5. So I need a 6 over here. So to get a 6, I have to multiply the, the numerator and denominator by 2. And then I need an x plus 7 over here. So this expression turns into negative 4 times 6 times x plus 5 times x plus 7 minus this expression is 3x squared 
plus 21x over 6 times x plus 5 times x plus 7. But technically, this negative is going to each one of these terms. So I'm going to write it as negative 3x squared minus 21 oops, minus 21x minus 4 over 6 times x plus 5 times x plus 7. So if I look at my numerator, it does not factor out any further. There's no factors of 12 that add up to negative 21, and there's not a greatest common factor. I thought maybe I could divide all these by 3, and that would cancel out this 6 to be 1 half, but it doesn't. So this is my answer. And then the next one, I'm going to go ahead and factor out the denominator again. So this turns into 3 times x squared minus 3x plus 2 minus 2x plus 1 times 3x squared plus x minus 2. So both of these trinomials can be factored out further. This one is going to turn into x minus 2, x minus 1. And this one over here turns into x plus 2, x minus 1. So they both have this x minus 1 in common, and they both have a 3 in common. So what it's missing is you have this x minus 2 and x plus 2. So I'm going to have to multiply this numerator by x plus 2 and this denominator by x plus 2. Then I have to multiply this side by x minus 2 and x minus 2. So the numerator over here becomes x squared plus 2x over 3 times x minus 2, x plus 2, x minus 1, minus, and I'm going to FOIL this out, so this turns into 2x squared minus 4x plus 3x is minus 3x minus 2 over 3 times x minus 2 x plus 2 x minus 1 so again you have this negative so each one of these needs to be opposite so I'm gonna have x squared minus 2x squared is gonna be negative x squared 2x minus a negative 3x is gonna be plus 5x, and then I have a negative 2. And that doesn't factor out any further. Oops, then I have a positive 2. So my denominator is still going to stay as 3 times x minus 2, x plus 2, x minus 1. Alright, and these are called, what we call complex fractions, our fractions within a fraction. So you're adding these two and you're adding these two. So what you want to do is get a common denominator. So my common denominator is going to be y x. So this is x and y. Oops, x. So now this expression, the numerator is going to be y over x y plus x over x y over, now I'm going to get my denominator right here, is going to be, and then here I multiply this one by y over y, so I'm going to have 2x over xy minus y over xy. So this part's going to turn into x plus y, the numerator, over xy divided by 2x minus y over xy. So if you remember, when you're dividing fractions, this is my fraction bar. I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal of this. So this is going to be xy over 2x minus y. These two are going to cancel out. So your answer is going to be x plus y over 2x minus y. Okay, and the next one, so we have another complex fraction. 
So this, I don't need to get a common denominator with my numerator because my numerator is just 3. But my common denominator over here is going to be 2y. So I have to multiply this by 2y over 2y. So now I have 3 over 2y minus 1 divided by 2y. So if this, my fra if this is my fraction, I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal of my denominator. So it's going to be 3 over 1 times the reciprocal of 2y minus y over 2y is 2y over 2y minus 1. So this turns into 6y over 2y minus 1 is my answer. I can't reduce this, these two, because this is with a plus or a minus.